What up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for this video. As you can see, I am dressed in all white because it's time to begin my bride fitness journey with you guys. Um, I am super excited to go on this journey with you. I'm super nervous. I'm also putting myself out here just to be held accountable to my goals, but I also just wanna bring you guys with me. And if you guys wanna join this journey, I highly encourage you to do it and let me know so that I can motivate you and you can motivate me. Uh, but for this video, what I'd love to start off by doing is first we'll talk about how I'm gonna be changing my diet, then we'll talk a little bit about what workouts I'm gonna do to get to my goal, and then lastly, I'll talk about how I'm tracking my progress and staying on top of my goals. I took some videos for you guys, and I know these are gonna hurt your eyes, but I want you guys just to look at uh, my body right now. It's not in good shape. In fact, it's at its worst shape, and I'm okay with that, but I know it's time for me to get in the gym and change that and fix what's been going on with me. My starting rate when I took this video was at 164. But enough of that, I know you guys don't wanna see that anymore and it's time to get into the video. Hopefully you guys can do this journey with me too, so if you're joining, definitely leave a comment down below and also hit that subscribe and like button, but it's time to get into the video. Alrighty guys, so the first things first is I had to figure out what the heck was going on with my diet. And boy, let me tell you, your girl has been eating horribly for like the last I don't even know, maybe six years. So I needed to just clean up, wipe the plate clean, start over, and I just really need to go back to the drawing board on like what I'm going to be putting into my body. First things first, I'm not going on some huge diet plan, okay? I'm just being more consciously aware of what I'm putting into my body. So the first things first that I'm actually going to be paying attention to is my calorie intake and the type of calories I'm actually consuming. Every day, I am only going to allow myself to intake 1,200 to 1,400 calories. When it comes to my diet and the type of foods that I'm putting in, I'm actually getting rid of all meat. Yes, you heard that right. Your girl is giving up meat. If you're curious as to why, I will leave some documentary links on Netflix for you to go and watch and check out why meat is just horrible for the world and the consumption and the rate that we're doing it at is absolutely awful. But I'm also cutting out meat because I tend to eat meat with a lot of other really awful things for me. Secondly, meat, when I eat it, I end up eating bad things with it, okay? A burger, bread, tons of bread. Brisket sandwich, oh my God, I love that. Tons of bread. So I figured if I just cut it out, I'm more inclined to eat more vegetables, more whole grain products, and so forth. But by me, I'm not gonna miss you, I'm not looking back, and I'm gonna start focusing on plant-based meals. Away from is saturated fats and processed food. I am going to stay away from these things as much as possible. Some things that I actually want to incorporate into a lot of my meals is I'm always going to be eating vegetables. If anything, a half a plate of vegetables. And the other thing I want to incorporate is eating whole grain materials. So whether that's quinoa, whether that's you know whole grain spaghetti, whatever it is, it needs to be whole grain. I'm also going to be paying attention to my protein intake. Once I'm working out, I am having something that is high in protein so that my muscles feel the energy coming from the protein. Something that I've been actually incorporating into my workout plans is a protein shake. You can see this one's by Whey. I am not having this every day after my morning workouts. No, I am not. The only time I'm actually doing a protein shake for breakfast is when I've done a strength workout. I would say that vanilla is my favorite flavor. This one is absolutely delicious. I just do about six ounces of water. You can also use almond milk too. That's pretty good, but Water is good enough for me. Um, these things are pretty hefty. You are gonna feel full afterwards, um, but they're good for those weight training days, for sure. The other thing that I'm gonna be incorporating into my diet is vitamins. So I am taking an apple cider vinegar vitamin. Apple cider vinegar is really good for weight loss, um, for your appetite, for your skin. I mean, there's so many different things. And I can leave some information about why this is so good down in my description box. So definitely check that out. I know a lot of people eat apple cider vinegar. Um, they drink it and actually tastes really awful. I, I cannot do that. So when I found these gummies, I was like, oh, let me try that. That might be an easier way to consume. They're delicious. They taste like strawberry. Um, but I'm going to be eating two of these every morning after my workout. Last thing I'm doing when it comes to dieting is incorporating a ton of 
water into my diet. I am not a big water drinker. It'd be great if I was superhuman, I'd be drinking a gallon of water every day, but it's really hard for me to consume water. I just don't know why. Um, so some of the things I've been doing is there is zero calorie um, Kool-Aid that you can buy. I can also put a link in the description box for that, but honestly, your good old LaCroix, I like the orange and the tangerine flavor. These will take your girl a long way. I absolutely love LaCroix. It makes me feel like I'm drinking a soda when I'm really drinking water. Um, so get creative with the ways that you are intaking water every day. It doesn't have to be just this H2O from the tap, but you can get creative with this. And there is a way that you are gonna be able to consume a gallon a day, I promise. So keep your head in the game and you can do it too. Welcome to the gym, you guys. I had to just bring you into the gym so we can talk about what the hell am I gonna do when it comes to working out in order to lose the weight that I need to, to lose. The gym is not my friend. It's never been my friend. I've never had a good relationship with the gym. I used to be an athlete when I was growing up and the moment I stopped playing sports is when I really stopped working out altogether. I feel like that happens to a lot of people. So I had to come up with a plan in order for me to stick to it. Almost like a practice schedule that you would have if you were on any type of sports team. So essentially what I've done is I went ahead and planned all my workouts into my calendar because I know me, I'm not gonna work out unless I have a reminder set for me to go and do it. Um, so I have them planned out that I'll work six days a week. Sunday will be my rest day. Um, and essentially every workout is going to at least start with 30 minutes of cardio. That could be on the elliptical, that could be on the Stairmaster, bike, whatever you wanna do, go ahead girlfriend, you do that. Um, the other thing I'm gonna be doing is incorporating two days of abs and then three days of weight training. Um, I feel like that gives me a good balance and then it also gives me a day of just doing cardio. So that's kind of like my cheat day from everything else. It'll be a quick 30 minute to 45 minute workout, um, which is really nice. The other thing I'm doing to stay on top of making sure that I'm hitting my exercise goals is that I'm tracking everything on my handy dandy Apple Watch. Uh, I got the Apple Watch recently. I was kind of skeptical about it. Didn't know what I would use it for. Um, and I'm predominantly using it just for calendar reminders and my activity. It's able to track your exercise, your move goals, your standing goals all for you so it makes it really seamless for you to stay on target when it comes to how much you want to work out in a day um, so I'm making sure that I'm closing every single ring so on an Apple watch I'll be able to show you guys in a second you're gonna be able to close your move ring your exercise ring and then your standing ring I am setting a calorie goal of 600 calories per day I need to hit that on my Apple watch I found that also Working out in the mornings is better for me. It gets me up, it gets me ready for the day. I've been feeling great all week working out at 6 a.m. I'm trying to get to that 5.30 a.m. mark, but again, baby steps. This does not happen overnight. The thing I wanna say is, I know this is gonna be hard. I've only been doing it for a week now, so I really can't speak on this yet, but this is my game plan in the gym. And if you guys are more interested on learning exactly you know, what my workouts look like and what I'm incorporating into my daily workout routines, definitely a comment down below. I'd love to do a workout video with you um, and kind of show you what I'm starting with, right? I'm a beginner. I'm not going to go in here and go balls to the wall and then never come back to the gym. I'm slowly trying to get into a better routine and really just making that lifestyle switch so that I'm able to stay consistent and I don't end up turning away from my goals. I'm also putting this out here with you guys as a beginner so that I'm held accountable. If you don't hear an update about what this has been happening with this workout plan and if it's worked out, then I highly suggest you reach out to me, hit your girl up, and put her back in her place. So now guys, I think it's time to talk a little bit about how am I gonna track my progress and how I'm gonna make sure that I'm actually going in the right direction. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Now it's time to talk about how am I going to track my progress overall? And I think tracking for me is actually the most exciting part about this, to be able to see where you started and where you end up, it's just like such a journey. Like that's what motivates people to go and do something like this, is by seeing the before and the after. But I also wanna track all the in-between. So I've been doing a ton of research of how I can stay on top of not only like my diet and my workout, but just like my body and its progress overall. Okay guys, so the first thing I did was purchase this scale off of Amazon. It had 30,000 plus reviews, four and a half stars, and it told me it could do all these magical things. Well, I didn't believe it until I bought it and stepped on the scale. So when you step on the scale, it asks you to connect to your phone. And I'm like, okay, what is it gonna tell me on my phone? 
Well, it literally is mind blowing and it tells you everything from your weight to your body fat, to how much body water you have, to your BMI, you name it. It tells you all of that and it tracks it every day you step on the scale so you can see your progress over the time. I'm gonna open the app for you guys because I just want you guys to see how cool this actually is. Um, so just take a look at this. You go in, you step on the scale, and then this bar comes up. And it essentially is going to start off by weighing your scale or weighing your weight right at the top. Um, it'll also have your goals right underneath it. So my weight goal is 135. I'm at 161 today. Um, and then my body fat goal is 17%. Um, and right now I'm at 29.3% body fat, which is really high. And I need to lower that number a lot. So we got a lot of work, got a lot of fat all over this body that I need to get rid of. It also will tell you a ton of other things like your body body water, your skeletal, your skeletal muscle, muscle mass, bone mass, protein, um, and I was like, how does this technology work? How does it know my body fat? So I went and researched that because I was like, this is crazy. Um, and when I did that, essentially it told me that it sends an electrical like shock through your leg and down into the scale because you step on the scale barefoot and that's how it gets your body fat. Um, so this is super cool. You can also go over to trends go by category so you can look at weight and you can see your bar graph of how your weight um, is showing up on the scale you can also do it by your BMI and all the other categories that it weighs this is game changer right here not only does this app just live in the app for the scale but it also can connect directly to your health app that is already on your Apple phone so now you can track it on here on your phone So now I can see when they're completing workouts, they can see when I'm completing workouts, they can see when I hit my calorie goal, um, they can see it all. And they can actually respond and say, good job, go get in the gym, go do that. And that's really motivating to me to know that there's other people in this progress with me that are also pushing themselves every day to go and get some exercise in. So I am obsessed with the Apple Watch. If you wanna share activity, let me know. The more people I can have join my squad, the better. Um, so I'm here to motivate you, you're here to motivate me, and I love that there's a community with the Apple Watch. The other thing is I can also open up my progress that's tracking from my Apple Watch on my phone too as well. So I wanna show you guys what the app looks like and why it's so cool. Um, so I'll show you guys like yesterday essentially. Um, so yesterday I burned 753 calories. You can see that I exercised for 63 minutes and I, stand, I stood for 12 hours. Um, you can also see my step count, my distance, how many flights of stairs I climbed, um, and what my workouts were. So everything is tracked really nicely here. When I was talking about those rings and completing them when we were in the gym earlier, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I wanna make sure that every single day is completely filled out um, six days out of the week so that's super important for me if I could do it like for a whole month straight though that would be insane and that would be like I'd probably get an award also that reminds me you get awards through the Apple watch um, activity app super cool I love it um, so this is another way that I'm able to track how many calories I'm burning remember I'm trying to burn between anywhere from 600 calories to 1200 calories per day through movement and activity. So I'm tracking everything right here in the Apple Watch. The last app I wanna tell you guys about that I'm using to track my progress um, is gonna help more on the diet side. So you guys have probably heard of this, Fitness Pal. I'm using Fitness Pal to track my calorie intake. Um, I eat a, tend to eat a lot of the same foods every day. So once I figure out how many calories that food is, I don't need to go and track it in the app anymore. It's more what I'm using it for is to figure out what the calorie intake is for new foods that I'm incorporating into my diet. Cool thing about this is you can actually just go in and scan any barcode 
on food. So if there's a barcode on the packaging, you can scan it and it will just automatically pull up all the calorie intake information and what's inside of that food that you're going to consume. So you can figure out is this good for me? Is this bad for me? Can I incorporate this in a 1200 to 1400 calorie diet? It'll let you know. That's the nice thing. The other thing I want to show you guys about this app that I think is really cool is you can go in and set goals for yourself. So I want to show you guys what that looks like. So essentially, you can go into the app and you can go into where you're counting your calories and you can set in goals for yourself. So if you want to use this as a calorie diet, journal you say you can go in here and set goals for yourself so a protein i want to get 60 grams of protein every day you can start tracking that um or you know i want to stay from saturated fat so i'm going to stay under 10 grams of saturated fats every day so you can really get into the nitty gritty i am not going to go there quite yet i do not want to do that hardcore of a diet again i'm going to stay away from saturated fats but what i'm just trying to do is make sure that i am not consuming things that are really high in calorie intake and have those bad things that I don't want in my body. So Fitness Pal has definitely been my pal through making sure that my diet is on par. But I know the biggest thing for me was just understanding where I am right now and where I wanna go and seeing that path and being very transparent about it. Um, I don't want there to be any mysteries as to why. The other thing is, is if this plan does not work out, I can like visually go and show someone what I've been doing and they can tell me what's wrong because I have everything written down and it's all in one place in my health app. So that creates a really nice transparent conversation if I ever decide to get a personal trainer when I'm struggling or so forth. Because my wedding is not till the end of next year guys, I'm not stressing right now. What I'm doing is a lifestyle change so that I can get to a goal that I'm happy with and if I need to bring in a personal trainer, you know, six months out of the wedding, I can go ahead and do that. These are just the tips and tricks that I'm doing. If you have any tips and tricks that you want to share with me, please comment below. I'd love to hear them. If you're enjoying this journey, please comment below. If you're just here to see me, hey girl, hey. Um, I've had so much fun with you guys. I can't wait to start this fitness journey and bring you along with me. Um, alrighty guys, that's it for today. It's been so much fun. I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.